What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be making pito strawberry scones using fresh strawberries and our new mixing bowl in case you guys didn't notice. It was time for an upgrade. Those were totally worn out and they've also become Theo's favorite toys when he's in the kitchen with me being the sous chef. And what's so great about scones is that they're very easy to turn keto because they're already really dense and crumbly. Let's be honest. The best ones are super crumbly and they're dense and then you warm them up and you drizzle some glaze on them or syrup or something or butter. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you how to make a very dense, delicious keto strawberry scone using almond flour, a little bit of coconut flour. First, we're gonna add all our wet ingredients to the bowl and give it a nice little whisk. So we have three tablespoons of melted coconut oil right here. We're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna do five to eight drops of liquid stevia and liquid stevia is a low carb sweetener and we're only using five to eight drops. One, because it's very concentrated, so it's gonna be sweet. But then two, we're also gonna be using some erythritol, which is another low carb sweetener and they kind of balance each other out as far as taste goes. And we like to use the combination whenever we're making desserts. And if you want to know the exact ingredients we use, brands and everything, check out the blog post. We always link everything we use. And then the last two wet ingredients are two tablespoons of heavy cream and one large egg. It's not too room temperature, but ideally it's room temperature. And let's give that a nice whisk. Now for the dry, we have two and a quarter cups of almond flour, finely ground, blanched, no skin, quarter cup of coconut flour, two tablespoons of erythritol. This is powdered, but if you have granular, that will work just as well. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. Start with the whisk, transfer to a spatula when necessary, because this is gonna be a nice thick dough. It's not gonna be loose. Yeah, so you can see as I'm using the whisk, it's getting in the whisk, it's sticking, so that's, that's really dry. So we're gonna transfer over to our spatula. And then the last thing is a nice pinch of salt that I forgot, so we're gonna add that before we finish up this dough. Once we fold in the strawberries, I will get in there with my hands. But yeah, you can see this is very dry, and this is exactly what you want, because it will form together, as you can see. So now we are going to cut up our strawberries, our fresh strawberries, to fold them in. And we're gonna do one cup. So I'm just cutting the heads off of the strawberries before we chop them up. And whatever size strawberry pieces you want will work. I'm gonna go pretty small because I want a lot distributed throughout. So about that size, half an inch pieces. So you can definitely use any berries you have on hand. Um, a raspberry would be good. Blueberry is probably my favorite if you're making them for me. Okay, so that looks good to me right here. So I'm just gonna add these in. Yum. And then we will fold. Ooh, yes. So this is what the final dough is gonna look like before we get it kneaded and into a ball into our greased skillet, which we are going to use to bake. So this is our skillet right here. It's about 10 and a half inches. That's what you're going for. And then we have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna grease this skillet. You can use butter, lard, whatever you want. I'm gonna use some avocado oil spray. Just get all the sides greased. We don't want stickage. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna form this into a ball. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna transfer this puppy. And then we're gonna slice this into eight scones right here in the skillet. So now I'm just gonna cut it into eight. And in case you're wondering, frozen berries will not work for this. Even if they're thawed, they're gonna be watery and you don't want that extra liquid in this dough because they will not cook and it'll just be a mushy mess. So fresh is best in this case. So now that we've sliced them, we're gonna move them slightly apart. So we are just moving them slightly apart. This is probably easier if you did it on the cutting board first and then transferred. But since we're here, we are gonna make do. And they will still come out great. We have our eight scones perfectly shaped, ready to go in the oven. So we're gonna pop this in, like I said, a 350 degree oven, 20 to 25 minutes. 
We'll check on it at 20 and then using a toothpick, once you insert it, it comes out clean, then you know you're good to go. And that's a good testing method with all keto baked goods, the toothpick test. So let's get this in and then we'll be back to taste. All right guys, we are back and these are the scones. They are perfectly cooked, 25 minutes total. And you'll be able to tell, like I said, the golden brown color and then the toothpick test. And then when we pulled them out, we let them cool completely in the skillet before transferring them to the wire rack. And you're gonna wanna let these at least rest for 30 minutes because they can be very, fall aparty, crumbly. So now that we've allowed them to cool, you can see that they are perfectly held together and still very dense. We are gonna make a very simple glaze to top these to just kick it up a notch. So we have some powdered erythritol in here and powdered is very important. If you have granular erythritol, just pulse it up in a grinder, food processor, blender, and it'll become powdered. And then we're also gonna add some cream and just whisk that up. So we'll start with a little, we'll see where that takes us. That looks perfect, right? I'm not much of a drizzler. We can tell. I'm gonna give this a try, I'm very excited. Mmm, whoa, oh my God. I know these are strawberry, but the first word that comes to mind is buttery. These are so, so good. Dense, moist, crusty on the outside, but like, soft on the inside, exactly how a scone should be. But if you do like your desserts really sweet, then you can either up the sweetener in the scones themselves or do the drizzle for sure. But these are lightly sweet. The strawberries are moist and fresh and just such nice color. And don't forget, switch up the berries, switch up the seasonings, have fun with these. This is a great base for a keto scone. Check out the link below. That'll give you the instructions, the ingredients, the recipe on how to make these. And let us know if you do make them Tag us on Instagram, of course, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.